we have got Maleficent on the brain. We are in full obsession mode, ready to dish on crazy Maleficent facts. A Maleficent fashion line for kids, and we have to ask, what other villains deserve their own backstory? I was not about to miss the Maleficent episode. <laughs> right? A bad fairy who can turn into a dragon? That's a pretty great Disney villain. One that definitely deserves a backstory. Yep, let's kick this off with some interesting facts about Maleficent. Fact number one, three of Angelina Jolie's kids make cameos in the movie. Okay, how awesome would that be? Just making mm. a guest appearance in your mom's Disney movie? You know, no big deal or anything. That'd be so cool. Actually, her daughter Vivian got the part of young Aurora because she was the only kid who wasn't afraid of the Maleficent costume. Well, you know, it is kind of scary. Now check out this amazing amazingness. Angelina Jolie is teaming up with fashion designer Stella McCartney to make a Maleficent clothing lines for kids. Those are seriously so cute. I wonder if they come in my size. We can rock those wings. Those are one size fits all. Another cool fact? Angelina Jolie picked Lana Del Rey to perform the song Once Upon a Dream. Her version is a little different from the original, but check them out. I know it's true that visions are seldom all they see. But if I know you, I know what you'll do. You'll love me at once the way you did once upon. Wow, way dark. Right, it's perfect for Maleficent, but it would have been pretty crazy in the original. Let's just see what that would have been like. I know you, I walked with you once upon a dream. Fanful time, which version of Once Upon a Dream do you prefer? Lana's or Aurora's? Answer in the comments. One of the most interesting facts about the new Maleficent movie is that we learn that she's actually really, really nice. Or at least she was. And she had wings until they were stolen from her. I mean, hey, anyone's liable to get a little cranky if you just take their wings away. I agree. So, I was wondering what other villains might have an intriguing backstory. Like, what if we learned that Cruella de Vil was actually an animal lover? Maybe she wanted a fake fur coat, and she really wanted to adopt all the 101 Dalmatian puppies, and the whole thing was just this massive misunderstanding. No, I do not think so. I think she was just pretty evil. Okay, or what if Gaston used to be a real sweetheart, and then he just got really bad advice. Some other dude was like, bro, if you want to impress Belle, you gotta act like a real jerk. Girls love that. Um, no. Gaston is just bad. Let's save the cool backstories for the villains that might actually deserve them. Like, I bet there could be a good backstory for Hans. You just want a Frozen sequel. Disney, do not give Hans his own movie. Can I be blamed for wanting more Frozen? No, but the clear answer to that is a movie all about Olaf, obviously. Okay, that seriously needs to happen. Now find out what Disney villain you are with this mm -hmm. quiz. Guys, that's our rundown. Answer the fan poll, follow us on Google Plus, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.